Good morning, welcome to lesson two in literacy. So today is not supposed to be a proper writing lesson, but there is some scope to do some writing if you'd like to do so. So we're continuing with the story of the two frogs, which if you need a reminder of, you can re-watch lesson one yesterday where I read the story. So today's lesson is all about trying to create a bit of a character with our two frogs and what kind of people they are, what kind of frogs they are, and um, how they might talk. So we're kind of thinking about accents. Now, for my frogs, which you can see I've artfully drawn up here. Sorry, I coloured this one in. I've kind of been running out of time to colour this one in, so hopefully you'll forgive me. So um, I've named my frogs, and that's kind of where we got the accents from. So yesterday when I was reading them, you could see that the frog who's got the stick, I gave him um, a bit of an accent and decided he would speak a bit gruffly like this, and I've decided to call him Phil. Um, and so that's, that's part of his character. He's a very gruff spoken frog. And then the other frog, I've decided to call him William, and he's going to be a little bit posh. So parents, I do understand we are just doing stereotypes here, so please forgive me for that, but we're just trying to create some kind of character here. OK, so um, I thought there's, there's two ways you could do this. You could just kind of pretend with your mum, um, your dad, your adult at home. And um, one of you could be the slightly more gruff frog. And one of you could be the slightly posher frog if you want to. Or you could always make them northern if you want to. Um, and you could just role play a conversation. Um, but I thought maybe time wise, that might be a bit difficult for parents if you're working from home. Um, but it would be fun. It would be great to do. Um, and you could always film those and send them back to me. I don't see why I should be the only one making videos. Um, but today I've, I've written a bit of a script for them. And I thought that way we could practice our skill of using speech marks as well. And so if you want to, you could write your own little script for it, okay? So I'm gonna start off right at the beginning and I'm gonna start with William speaking first. So I want the blue pen first. And William is going to say, Philip, why? I'm sounding a bit more like the Queen now. Give me a second, I'll get that accent right. Philip, why do you have that stick? Asked William. And I almost want to give him another name and kind of call him William the Randolph the Third or something like that. I really actually can't see all of that writing. There we go. Okay. Now, because I've used speech, I'm going to have to use speech marks. So, um, Philip, why do you have that stick? Asked William. So I know straight away my speech marks are going to start with the beginning of Philip. And then, Philip, why do you have that stick? So this is a question. So I need a question mark. And then my... Speech marks come at the end. Asked William, full stop. Okay, so Philip, why do you have that stick? Asked William. Now I've written a bit of dialogue back, so I'm gonna need the green pen. So, um, Phil's gonna get a bit upset now. Okay, he's, he's not enjoying being called Philip. My name. New line, new speaker. My name is Phil. My name is Phil, barked. Barked Philip, so let's make sure we're still annoying him as we go along. So, I don't call you Will. There was an opportunity there, I turned it down. I don't call you Will, do I? Barked. Well, we've already got barked, so let's say he said gruffly. So again, we've got our opportunity for speak, speech marks here, so hopefully you can still see all of that screen. There we go. Um, my name is Phil. So we've got full-on speech marks here. My name is Phil. Full stop. Barked Philip. I don't call you Will, do I? Right, so we've got, my name is Phil, Bart Philip, 
I don't call you Will, do I? So you've got the opportunity here in this lesson to write your own little mini script about the two frogs. You could just write the beginning for me, that'd be great, and you could send that in. Um, or you could just do a bit of role play so you don't need to hand anything in if you don't want to. I just thought, we thought it'd be quite fun to just get involved, get our characters going so that when we write a character description later on in the week or next week, we've got an idea of who they are, how they're going to talk, and then we can start changing the speech verbs that we use. So we can add in adverbs like um, he said gruffly, or we can use things like barked, Philip, so that we really get the idea of how these characters talk. Okay, so um, I would love you to um, send those in. If you're just going to do the role play, that's fantastic. It's absolutely fine. You don't need to let us know that's what you're doing. And um, you can find the worksheet for this on Google Classroom. You can find it on the website and you will already have a printed one if that's what you've already asked for. Okay, have a wonderful day and um, I'll see you soon. All right, bye-bye.